to consider cataract surgery we can suppose that this is the cornea and this is the pupil and the lens is situated inside this to get this lens out what we do is we dilate the pupil with medications so it becomes big and we can take out the cataract what was done in older ages is we used to place a large incision like almost 10 millimeters on top of the cornea take out the lens and put sutures this is not done anymore because such a person has to rest for three months they cannot do any of their daily activities next advancement that came was small incision cataract surgery where the incision was reduced to five millimeters since it is five millimeters it does not require to be sutured but such a large incision requires a lot of time to heal so a person that undergoes SSS or small incision cataract surgery has to rest for three weeks the further advancement that came was called pinhole cataract surgery or phaco emulsification where an incision of three millimeters was placed on the cornea since it is placed on the cornea where there is no blood vessels there is no bleeding but since it is three millimeters compared to the eye which is 11 millimeters it is almost 30 percent of the eye length such an incision caused an instability in the cornea and an astigmatism would result this caused a person to wear glasses for distance as well as for reading to overcome this prob problem micro cataract surgery was invented where the incision was reduced to one millimeters in one millimeter incision it is less than 10 percent of the total size of the eye such an eye does not have astigmatism since it is only one millimeter it requires only 24 hours to seal since the wound heals in 24 hours a person can take head bath within 24 hours he can go to work the next day he can drive a car to work he can cook if need be he can watch tv and in the case of the advanced customized microcataract surgery he can even read the newspaper the very next day